So we're going to move on to the fourth match of the evening. I believe this was a semi-main, yeah, a mm -hmm. six-person tag match between uh, Mirai, Amisore, and Suri. God's Eye taking on the team of Hazuki, Mayu Iwatani, and Saya Ida representing these stars. Um, what? <laughs> Where to start on this one? Ami and Hazuki starting off the match, and this was a power heavy, intense, striking part of the match. I really, really enjoyed it. Very, very heavy hitting. Very, very intense. Very impactful was what I wrote down as, as a note for that. Um, Ida getting in and feeding Ami some wicked chops um, to the point where Ami actually buckled a couple times. We don't really see that out of Ami. So that's speaking to the, the mighty power that is Saya Ida. Um, the body slam um, that Ida got hit with by Ami before... Um, Tagging in Mirai, psyching out Ida. So that, that was what I'm going into. Mirai psyching Ida, making her think she was going to go with the dominant right arm chop and catching her with the left instead and forcing Ida to take a full bump. Whew. That, that shocked me. I've never seen Mirai do that. And it, it made me kind of like pause the match and be like, well, it, what did I just see? There was a spot right in there. Where mm -hmm. like I think right after she put her up, she put her in the corner and she started chopping her in the corner. And then mm -hmm. she starts dragging her towards the corner. And like Ida's like hopping. And every time she got chopped, she was like doing little hops, like yes, taking yes, the chops yeah. from her eye. I loved the way that she was like hopping when she was like being pulled. This mm -hmm. like reacting to like how her hurt her chest was. She's like, ah, ah, and like hopping. Mm -hmm, I, mm -hmm. I I I love the cell on that. It was absolutely mm -hmm. phenomenal. And if I'm not mistaken, I believe this is the show where she actually posted the picture afterward, where she actually had uh, pulled down the straps and showed the I'm welts sure. on her chest from these chops. This is no joke. <laughs> they're, they're tenderizing them titties, and some of them are getting too tenderized, let me tell you. <laughs> Suri, again, um, looking very vicious, but also I noted very lean. Um, she looks very, very... Like, like she's lost a little bit of, of weight um, in the last little bit and to, to kind of tighten up. And again, maybe it, it is in response to her match with, with Julia coming up. Um, very much looking forward to it. Um, and again, seems very angry, super vicious with her kicks. And um, the kicks she was feeding to Ida looked super, super rough, super, super heavy. Um, when Mayu got in, um, she definitely took some shots, I think, at Suri for that. <laughs> um, she looked a little, a little bit more wild than normal. Mm -hmm. And hey, good for her, Captain taking care of her team, right? Mm -hmm. um, the stereo face wipes and the running kicks from stars on the, the members of God's Eye was something I always like. Um, it's something that's be kind of kind of become a, a signature or a staple of them. I very much so like it. Uh, there was a backcracker, I think it was, um, by Suri that she did on, uh, or sorry, by Suri on Mayu. Um, that looked mm -hmm. really not awesome. Looks like she caught her a little bit higher than maybe she should have. Um, and then a code breaker mm -hmm. by Hazuki on Mirai was amazing before transitioning into the cross face. I absolutely love how capable these women are um, with these transitions. Um, I could go on and on. The last thing I want to actually say is that I actually really enjoyed um, watching Hazuki and Mirai. Um, getting into the ring and, and really getting into it with each other. Um, the the clothesline that Mirai was able to rock Kazuki with, though, was unfreaking real. Um, she pretty much not only turned Hazuki inside out, she threw herself pretty much out of the ring almost. Mm -hmm. um, super, super powerful. Andre, what do you think of this one? I actually had a great time watching this. And again, I, I'm a really big Saida fan. Like, you know, my love for Saida. Um, there was this like awesome spine buster that Ida hit early on in the match with Suri, mm -hmm. where she just picked her up and just cranked her down with that spine buster. Mm -hmm. Looked so good. And then there was a spot where Hazuki hit the MX to uh, to Mirai, and then it just spot on. And then she got her in the pin. And then when as soon as Mirai kicked out of the pin, 
she immediately pulled her over into the cross face. Mm -hmm. Like it just the transitions there were again so smooth. You see these girls do such smooth transitions, man. Um sorry, there's another spot I want to talk about in here. Um oh the spot or little side standing up to Amy Saray and fighting back and like fighting through the chops, even though Amy ended up getting the speed chops. Saya coming hitting off the rope and coming and hitting that big double chop, like mm-hmm. getting the upper hand at the end. Like you were saying, yep, in the last match, she was it was the other way. For her, mm-hmm. she lost the chop battle, but she won the war by putting her down and got the splash. And then she gets a dragon sleeper on Amy, but Amy got to the ropes really quick. I, I really mm-hmm. thought it was a great little spot to show Saya Ida's really be able to stand up to the power of a bigger, the bigger, the biggest mm-hmm. woman in the match in, in Amy Saray. Um, but the end of this match came with the spinning brain buster by Amy Saray to Saida to mm-hmm. get the win. Yeah. I really enjoyed that finish too. I, I felt that I, I wasn't expecting it. I, I think that's why I enjoyed it. I wasn't I, quite expecting it. I was expecting Ida to be the one to take the pinfall in this match because I was looking at all, again, looking at everybody here, who's going to take the pinfall? It's probably going to be Ida. <laughs> <laughs> as we start to watch these shows more you it's almost like njpw where you know within the factions when you start to see a match come together you can be like gato. well yeah yeah gato jato um sadly some most times doki bushi you know there's all those guys that you know are just the guys who if they're fighting with a heavyweight they're gonna lose to the heavyweight and you're right. Mm-hmm. I did honestly think the same thing when I saw <laughs> this. Was like I love Ida, but I know she's probably taking the pin in that. So from here, we're actually going to move into the main event, which was an amazing ten-person match, and this featured Himika, Micah, Thekla, Mai Sakurai, and Julia from Dona del Mundo taking on the evil cloud of darkness that looms over the stardom locker room that is ruaka natsuko tora starlight kid momo watanabe and kashima saki from oedo tai this was fun just the random first note is i want an oedo tai sweater so bad i wish they were not 80 dollars so nope, I ridiculous I, I, <laughs> but would I, want not, one so I would bad. i will never let you wear that on this show <laughs> no, 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 you can never wear that on the show. But I will say this the entrance for Donna Del Mundo, the air of confidence that all four women have, or all five women have, are absolutely phenomenal. Well, mm-hmm. four, because Aim, because uh, Him- Himika does not come out with the same air of confidence. She comes out with pure happiness, waving at everybody. And I love how, how she stands out from the other four, the other four members mm-hmm. is that she's so happy, like mm-hmm. where the other, all the others, like. <laughs> or like how there's like air of like I'm better than you and well, Julia like, can only see half of them, right? And and have <laughs> just like hi and happy and just I love the the the, the difference mm-hmm. in how they come out and like the four of them are so and then Hemika's just like I'm so happy. Mm-hmm. I love it. That's true. That's it. true. I also want to point out I just love Thekla's style again, a completely different style from the night before. Mm-hmm. Um, and Micah's new robe with the the red um, feather boa hanging off the shoulder is something that I absolutely love. Um, but getting into the match, um, Thekla and Starlight Kids starting off with a great high speed um, sequence in the beginning here, coming off of their match the night before. Probably still a lot of emotions for them. I felt that it was a really, really fun way to start off the match. I like how they start off on a high note, usually with the high speed champion or high speed um, people kind of in there. It really sets up the pace for the rest of the match. Um, My taking on uh, Momo Watanabe, I didn't think that that was maybe the smartest choice she'd made, but she's made worse choices. And there were certainly... Uh, scarier people for her to take on in that and i think um, momo and her actually had a pretty good interaction um the tie up and faction photo op that donna del mondo (laughs) was able to do i would say is the definition of a cruel irony uh because that's usually what they're doing isn't it (laughs) imposing someone on the ropes so i really enjoyed seeing that um had a lot of fun with it um 
chaos everywhere though as as everything just kind of spills out into the outside here there and everywhere um the announcer i i just i had a chuckle so many times because there was one point where i got up to go stir my dinner while i was watching this and all i could hear is step to the side step to the side <laughs> just for a few minutes just that poor announcer um that was fun i thought that was a good uh, good time um I really enjoyed the Mafia Bella reunion um, in, in the ring where Thecla and Julia started uh, getting in there. Abruptly start, uh, stopped by a BMI 2000 reunion. Mm -hmm. um, I love that we can see these teams get together and have these little face-offs. Um, different uh, different teams, I think, ending up um, meeting later because I believe it's Hemika and Micah going to be in that triple threat. Mm -hmm. um, Tora and Micah. Oof. these ladies kick the holy heck and heck out of each other for this match. Um, again, mm -hmm. love Micah. She's super, super strong, doing everything she can to give it to Tora. Tora, again, super strong in her own right, really able to withstand everything that Micah was giving to her. Um, there was, uh, uh, yeah, my Hemi reuniting and taking out BMI 2000, allowing Micah to get that suplex on Tora that she was struggling to catch. Um, really, really love seeing that. The craziest part of the match brain, for me, I thought it was a brain buster almost. I wrote down suplex. It might have been a brain buster. I mean, yeah, they do, I, yeah, they I've been watching Tenzon yeah. too much that I don't know the difference. <laughs> That's a lie. We haven't seen Tenzon for a while. Um, the crazy part of the match for me was where everyone was popping off everything they had. It was a very New Japan feeling part of those big tag matches where it's like, he pops off this, then he pops off this, then he pops off this. And it's like all different people popping off different stuff at mm -hmm. the same time. It was very, very fun because you get to get used to what ever it is that all of these women do and we're still learning what all of their kind of signatures and what they like to do is so i i really enjoyed this part of the match mm -hmm. um saki pinning my sakurai with the move that i could i had to pause rewatch rewind to watch the spelling of this the kishikai i think it's called the kishikai kishikai Kish oh, Kishi. I thought it was K I S H K I K A I. It's K I S H I K I. Yeah, <laughs> it's a uh, Kishi Kaise. I think is how it's said. Kishi Kaise. Fun. Yeah, it was fun. <laughs> it, 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 it's like she's hit it multiple times to surprise win on a lot of people. Yes. Yeah, I, it's one of my favorite things that she does. As soon as I see her like do it, I'm like, yeah, it's done. That's the end mm -hmm. of the match. Um, at the end of the match, Tora calling out my Hemi um, and really trying to uh, batter their confidence going into this triple threat um, match for the, the number one contendership for Meltier's Goddess of Stardom uh, tag titles. My Hemi not... Uh, backing down now, Hemika taking the microphone and telling her, we are not backing down. We are going to do what we do best. We're going to wreck your day, essentially, <laughs> in a nice way. Um, of course, Hemika, you said before, she is just so super cute. It's it's so hard sometimes to like be intimidated by her. But again, she earned that Jumbo Princess name for a reason she she's knocking people's heads off and not taking uh, any apologies um what i really really enjoyed at the end of it was starlight kid again i i call her like a parrot she's kind of squawking at everybody squawking at julia as she's walking out give a call message her junior calling her yeah. junior yeah yeah, give a message to whoever and Julia pretty much telling Starlight Kid to go F herself. It, it was really amusing, a really fun way to end the night. Andre, how would you feel about this one? I, I absolutely had a fun time. Again, it was pure chaos. I don't have much for notes in the match because you, you went over the biggest spots. Just just pure chaos. There was a great spot where uh, Starlight Kid did a dive to the outside onto pretty much everybody in the match, her team, the opponents. It was crazy. Uh, but yeah, just just overall, just a fun main event. Getting to see all these awesome women wrestle. But the best part for me was post match when SLK had the 
So the kid had the mic. She announced that her her the artist of stardom tag team title match. Uh, that's going to be a, a hardcore rules match. Go, let's yes, go prominence, is. baby. Let's go <laughs> prominence. <laughs> let's go prominence. Let's go then, Suzu Suzuki. And then Starlet Kid said she's taking off Suzu Suzuki's head. That's, she did make that comment. But then the best line of it all was when Saki got the mic, she went, later, nerds. And that's it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, I, I forgot to write that down. Yeah, that was a very fun part of that match. What a... What a show these two shows were to follow up the 